What's up guys? We are back for another NECA Kenner tribute figure. Today we're taking a look at the Snake Alien. This guy comes in the standard NECA style blister card package, but it's done up in a Kenner vintage feel. So you've got some Kenner style artwork for the backer card, for the insert in the tray itself, along with that Kennerized NECA logo. And then the back of the package has got cross-sell for all of NECA's Alien and Predator Kenner style lines that's all done up in the same color and grid pattern that was on the Kenner backer cards. So a lot of cool stuff here, great vintage nostalgic feel going on, but let's do it. Let's pull this thing out and take a look. And here he is out of the package, our snake alien figure, our Kenner tribute alien figure. And I gotta say right off the bat that this is definitely one of those figures that makes you realize just what NECA can do when it comes to recreating these classic figures. Because while I don't have that figure anymore, I don't have that version currently, I don't have that Kenner figure right now, this is definitely what every kid wanted that toy to be. And it is just a fantastic, fun action figure. Not to mention the fact that it is incredibly gruesome looking, very nasty, but there's just a lot of fun stuff going on here. There's a lot of plastic and there is definitely more going on here than you might expect at first glance. So let's take a look at articulation first to see how this thing moves around because honestly at first glance that's where I thought this thing was going to be a little limited. And I mean it sort of is because it's a snake, but it's definitely not at the same time. There's a lot more moving parts than there may seem. So we will start at the head. As you and the head and neck are one piece, so they rotate and then they go backwards, basically almost, you know, kind of perpendicular. So when you have him almost laying down, it'll sort of look like he's skittering along. And then he'll go down a little bit as well. You have got the mandibles that will go out and then they rotate as well. And then the jaw actually articulates so you can pull that inner mouth out. And if there's one area on my figure that's kind of rough to mess with, it's this mouth. It's just really, really, really tight. So it just takes a little more force to actually get it out. But once it's out, I mean, it's fine. And then all of these little like rib spines that are inside of it, they all pop out and they all rotate fully. So they hinge and they rotate, all of them. There are six on each side, so there is a lot of movement there. So you can basically open up the entire rib cage, which looks just menacing and gnarly and nasty. And then you can rotate at this particular joint right here to give it kind of a waist twist almost. And then of course, the entire thing is a bendy wire. So from, from tail, it basically it stops here at the end and then it goes all the way here to the point where you have got this humongous piece of plastic that will bend and articulate and create a way for you to kind of reshape this figure. Just like with the Scorpion Alien in the previous NECA review, I really cannot emphasize and stress enough how important the look of this figure is. And really that's the defining characteristic. Outside of the fact that it has a tremendously long bendy wire tail, the look on this figure is just absolutely wild. And wild's the best way to say it because this is a freaky design. It is slightly terrifying in a good way. And I think NECA has just done a bang up job on every aspect of this thing. So just to give you an idea of you know, what we're talking about here, you have got, you know, again, a large bendy wire figure that is essentially one long spine. So one long kind of armored spine. And you can see like on the back here, you've got all the ribs that run through this, this kind of rib cage and the spinal cord. It's all done up in a really black, but copper color scheme. And that kind of runs down the top of the tail. And then the back, the inside is this kind of green color which is accented by the purple spines that are on the ends of the rib bones there. And it's just gruesome and nasty and it's everything it needs to be. There's really nothing, there's nothing I can say that's bad about this, this toy. Outside of the fact that in some capacities it might be a little bit difficult to stand up, you do kind of need to have it posed kind of like this where it's kind of coiling up on itself. Or you can use the tail to grab onto another larger scale figure or of course you can lay it down flat and make it look like it's sort of resting on these spines kind of like uh, like little fingers or legs or something that pull it along 
but that might be the one real negative is that it can be a little difficult to balance because it's quite top heavy. Uh, it is very much top heavy and it's got a little bit of a balance problem from time to time, but overall, once you get the hang of it, you can easily work through it. And it's more of a slight annoyance at first than a true negative, I would say. The way this figure looks, the way it's constructed, the way it's built, everything is just fantastic. Tons of detail, tons of paint applications. And I mean, this, this tail is just massive. It is truly enormous. Uh, everything about this figure is kind of grandiose when it comes to uh, scale and size. So you really get an idea that this, this actual alien, this xenomorph, is quite an imposing, nasty creature. And it'll work really well alongside your other aliens and alongside other larger scale figures. Uh, to kind of accent them as it kind of coils around them or, you know, put it on a diorama or something and wrap it around a pole or something like that because it can hold its own weight pretty well once you get a hang of how to actually do that. So, you know, outside of the fact that, again, I do think, you know, at first there is a little bit of a learning curve to getting it to stand up. It definitely works really, really well and it really plays into the whole aspect of it being this big bony armored snake creature that has this huge gaping hole of a rib cage that you can kind of put your victims in. And then of course, you know, you have to mention this crazy head sculpt with the more like kind of buzzsaw uh, spines that run down the back, like the scorpion alien. And then of course those spines that come out of the mouth, you've got the extra inner jaw there and just more of that grisly, gruesome paint detail that uh, really, really brings out the kind of vicious nature of this particular figure. So there's really no other way to say it. NECA has done a superb job when it comes to the detail on this figure and it is everything that I expected it to be and more. Now, just like the Scorpion Alien, this guy does not come with any real accessories, but he does come with a bonus pack in the vintage uh, mini comic that came with all the Kenner figures, reprinted, recreated by Dark Horse here for NECA. So this is number nine, the Snake Alien Night Strike comic. And again, it's just a little bit of a backstory, a little insight into some of the history and some of the story behind some of these more outlandish and wild aliens. And you can see our snake alien here kind of in the tree as he's attacking some uh, colonial marines and stuff like that. There's not a great deal of the uh, snake alien actually in this. It's about a lot of other stuff because this is all one kind of ongoing story. But again, I absolutely love the fact that NECA is able to, one, get these reprinted and done. And just the fact that they go to the trouble to make this happen is a, a cool thing. You know, it's one of those little nuances that makes you really want to get invested in this line and really hope that they go through the process and make the rest of these. So overall, this is an absolutely fantastic toy. There's just nothing bad for me to say about it. Even my one minor gripe is just a kind of learning curve. You've got to get it to the point where you can balance this guy correctly, but once you've got the hang of it, he's very easy to pose, and it's just so much fun to play with. This guy has tons of posability possibilities, even though it is still just a huge bendy wire. A lot of its actual articulation doesn't really help with posing. It's all in that tail, and NECA's done a really good job of making it look fantastic while also being very useful on top of the fact that the figure just looks amazing paint sculpt is just crazy everything here is incredibly well done there's just a lot of cool stuff to look at so that's going to do it for this look at the NECA toys snake alien figure let me know what you guys think feel free to like comment subscribe and share and until next time